Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Pillsbury uh, toaster scrambles. This one is the bacon with cheese sauce, eggs, potatoes, and bacon in a past, uh, pastry crust. It says now with potatoes. So even though the old ones didn't have potatoes, they didn't have, they just had eggs and um, cheese and bacon. So now they have potatoes in them. Um, it looks good. The picture looks really, really good. Uh, there are four pastries in the box. It says they're 180 calories per pastry. We bought these at Kroger. They were $2.89. They sell them all over the place, but they just happen to be where we got them at. And this is actually the only flavor they had in stock. So, so one pastry is 180 calories, 90 calories from fat. And there's your other information for you. So this is a two-step uh, direction. So you have to have a microwave and a toaster or a toaster oven. And it says don't leave toaster or toaster oven or microwave unattended while heating, I guess because it'll catch on fire, I don't know. So we're gonna microwave on high for 10 to 15 seconds. That's probably just a thought out a bit. And then we're going to set the toaster or the toaster oven to medium, I mean low medium, which on our toaster is a two. And then you're going to do one to two cycles until hot and golden brown. So you push it in once, if it pops up and it's not hot and golden brown, pop it in again and uh, it'll be ready. Um, do not use metal objects, pastry will be hot, keep frozen until ready to use. So what do these things look like? Does that have a pull tab? No pull tab. I'm assuming they're going to be in just a bag in here. Yep. Just a bag. So I'm going to get these, uh, I'll probably make me two, but I'll do them one at a time. Well, I'll microwave them one at a time, and then I'll put them in the toaster together. But anyway, I'll be back when they come out of the toaster. Okay, I'm not sure what that 30 seconds or 15 seconds each serve, but because uh, they're still frozen to me. So I'm going to stick these in my toaster. So your toaster, stick them upright so you can grab them out of there. It's on two, push it down, and I'll be back when they pop up. All right, so here they are out of the toaster. And uh, they only took one cycle, and uh, I think they're pretty hot. I mean, they're hot to touch at least. I cut one of them in half so I could pick it up and show you. That's what it looks like inside. That's what that half looks like. So the other half's going to look pretty similar. So, and they're very crispy. And, but they smell like the toaster shriddles you get. Uh, the sweet ones, like the fruit ones. That's what they smell like, the pastry does. So I'm going to just cool off for just a bit, and I'll be back. Okay, it's still a little hot, but I think it's okay to eat. I don't want to burn my mouth, but I think it, you don't want it to get cold either. Um, there's a close-up view of it. You see the potatoes, the bacon, and the eggs. I immediately get the cheese and the bacon flavor and the, the pastry itself. The pastry tastes like a really good puff pastry. It's got that um, almost that oily, buttery kind of flavor. Um, I like the pastry a lot. I just now got a bite of potato. The potato is good and it's firm, but it's not hard. It's kind of still soft. Those are good. Um, people have been asking me to try these for a while and I've never tried them before just because they involve a toaster, but then I started, or a toaster oven. And then I started thinking, well, toasters are pretty cheap. And a lot of places where you work or even in your office, if you have your own office, um, you uh, you may very well have access to a toaster in your, in your workspace. So, there we go. So you microwave these for just a minute. I wonder if the microwaving does, does heat the potatoes up a little bit. I'm not sure. But um, you microwave them literally for 15 seconds each. Pop them in the toaster one or two times. And they're good and toasty. And they're good and warm. Flavors are really good. I love the flavor of the pastry. Um, I wish the bacon flavor was a little bit stronger. Because I'm mostly getting the pastry flavor with a little bit of like the egg flavor. And a little bit of the cheese. The bacon is like a, a very low like third or fourth place for, for a flavor. It's there, it's just not super strong. The pastry is definitely the strongest flavor. So, I think these are really good. I'm gonna give them a four. Not something I would eat all the time, but if you're wanting a breakfast pastry that's not a toaster strudel, if you want something more hearty, like a potato and egg kind of thing, these are definitely worth trying out. And if you wanna take them for lunch, you um, by the time you take them to work, they're probably gonna thaw out a little bit if they're in your lunch bag or whatever. Um, you may not have to microwave them for as long before you toast them, but. You know, you can just trial and error, you'll just figure it out. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.